hello guys hope you are doing great so today i am going to present you the new version of our plugin uh, uh, crm wordpress plugin for repairing businesses actually the plugin can be used with uh, for various businesses whoever offers the uh, whoever offers the um, uh, uh, services parts or extras you can simply install the plugin from wordpress uh, what is the repair, repair buddy is the name once you have installed the plugin the, uh, yes this is the plugin uh, you want to see the plugin page on wordpress just go here uh, wordpress plugin page this is the new version of crm wordpress plugin repair buddy okay let's explore the plugin uh, what is this and how it works once you have activated the plugin then you will get the option here uh, or the menu of plugin here which you can change to anything whatever your business name uh, mobile repair let's make it to mobile repair uh, i'm just going to walk through very quickly so because the long videos people don't like to watch them here you can update your logo URL or you can add the logo by going to your customize the logo appears on your invoices and uh, the status people checks let's see here uh, okay uh, your email address where you want to receive the email uh, where you want to receive the email from code forms if you are using your uh, uh, code form on front end like uh, let me give you this let me give you show you the code form really quickly yes so we'll check out your request code you have to just create a, a simple page and paste the code there then uh, user can field first name last name now if user already registered and your customer then system will not let him uh, uh, let him create his quote because uh, uh, he is already registered and he is requested to sign in. We, uh, then he can go here and uh, 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 go here. Login logins are all always sent to the customer's email whenever they uh, whenever they are registered uh, or they, their job is created so once the uh, now the request code only needs the job details other items if user want to want modify they can modify from their job details and here they can see their ongoing jobs what's their status what's going on and here they can filter uh, the jobs like if they want to see the jobs in process they can see that okay so here <coughs> Here, uh, further things like pick if uh, you offer pickup and delivery, if you offer, offer a rental uh, rent re rented item, if you are using taxes, what tax? What is the primary tax? Each tax it can be overridden from services and parts also, and you can change the tax during creation the job uh, as well. If you don't want to use tax, just uh, disable them. If you want to add more taxes, uh, you can just come here and change status if you want to inactive any stacks i do not recommend you to delete the taxes uh, uh, yes job statuses default are new court cancelled in process service ready or complete delivered uh, you can add more uh, uh, job statuses like the uh, sent to the client for approval any job status name then is status active or inactive here you can add new services new services and their details like service code service time required cost tax to use for this service and warranty and uh, etc this single service page all detail also comes here if you want to disable that there are options uh, here you can list all services like this the page is not uh, using full width that's why it's looking like uh, similarly parts for parts you can add part detail and manufacturing code stock code 
core features, capacity, price, installation charges, and warranty. Whatever. Uh, quickly, let's see this quickly how it's looking in back end. Uh, these are things the text you want to use with this part. Uh, anything. All right. Then clients. Clients, you can add clients while you are uh, 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 working on the job. And uh, if you want to manage clients separately, and what you like, see, you want to see this first client's jobs, just click here and you will see his jobs. He just have sent a code, that's why it's draft. And uh, these are all your clients which you can delete modify whatever you want to do working customer is for the clients which we do not give us the information of the technicians uh, these are the technicians this technician is assigned three jobs uh, let's see his jobs all right so in jobs while you are do adding a job here you can see all jobs and you can filter jobs by technician here by customer here by payment status like you want to see credit jobs you can just filter and see what uh, jobs are credit and not paid yet when you want to see paid jobs you can see and if you want to see partially paid jobs you can do that and uh, for job statuses if you want to see delivered jobs you can click on it yes you can uh, select date along that also All right um, the month is in uh, what in process you can see the jobs in process and any new status you added there I told you you can add more state job statuses here. The job status. Okay, let's modify this job. This is if you want to add a new customer. Okay, add a new technician if he does not exist. D delivery date, job details, and the parts using this job. You can add more parts. You can change stacks for any job, anything you want. Uh, all right, services. Extras are the used power cable. I use things in your workshop or in your repairing area, where uh, which you got from some other client, but you can sell them also for some money. Where right? they are, uh, you can add them. Just add a field, name, code, quantity, and price. That's it. Okay. Uh, job status whenever you will change the job status the email will be sent to client if you don't want to send the email to client you have to disable this feature email customer that do not email customer uh, do not send email to your customer every time your job status is changed all right but otherwise every time you change the status the email would be sent to client and if you want to send an email to client without the job state then you can click on this button email customer and to print your job you can just go ahead it's easy all right <coughs> yeah, I just need to do some settings I think I have done something wrong here scale so deep sanctity okay leave it okay good anything else yes the front end where your users can see the uh, view where your users can check their job status here they will enter the case number which will be sent to them via email all right so that's it i hope you like the plugin if you have any question or if you need any support just open your support on our website I hope you like the plugin. That's it for today. Thank you.